Uh, Mungano is the group of the, the federation. Uh, the expectation also has grown over years because you go, each informal settlement has its own opportunities, challenges, and the people, after getting the information of the federation, they join the federation with a lot of expectations and others think that the change has to come overnight, which is not true, which has to, it's a process, because most of the, these things you have to fight for your rights, you have to, it's a journey. So the expectations is enormous and uh, we are trying to, to see how we can uh, achieve but it's not an overnight thing. It's a process, it's a journey, and uh, a lot has to be done. And I think the growth of federation, the issues of urbanization, people are coming from rural, coming to town, expect, expect, expecting a lot of goodies, but when they reach to the urban areas, they find Life is not the way they expected. The only place to go is to the, the informal settlement or to the to the shards and things become harder for them. The also another challenge is uh, about about uh, about uh, the economic situation in the country. Because now life is difficult, people don't have livelihoods, they, there's no employment, there's no, no, there, there's no employment coming and uh, things are becoming tougher, the prices of the food, they, so the, the challenges, there are many challenges in our society which needs to be addressed and uh, the federation us to do a lot because they don't have hundred percent of the solutions to satisfy each and every member of the federation. I think when people join Bongano, one of the things that we do we we take them through the the issues of Mungano, which are savings and focusy projects, and uh, we make sure that they. They know it's not food in the silver plate, it's a journey. They have first of all to, to know themselves and most of the times the community themselves has to, to give out their, their expectations so that we can balance and see what we can do because each informal settlement and each member of the Federation has its different expectations. There are those who will come because they want livelihood loans, those who will come because of the security of land tenure, those who will come because of the housing issues. So it's, uh, we have to understand what is that people are coming or joining the Federation and their expectations. Then after the expectation, through enumerations, through this and that, we, they understand. We pass them to the data that they collect, we tell them, they do the priority areas and through that they will understand it's not a day's issue, it's a process.